plus you hoop. Oh yeah, you good. So like what for you band, because I was going to touch on that too. So what instrument did you play? And like how popular was the the band? Like Selma High's band, man, it was like if you was in the band, you were popular, put it that way. You know, okay. so like how was y'all band? Were y'all were y'all pretty good? Or yeah, how or how how was that? And what instrument did you play? Uh, so I was a I was a drummer, percussionist. Oh yeah, even worse. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah, I was I was a percussionist, you know, um and the band itself wasn't popular, but we weren't one, we were the most accomplished in the school. Like you look at the band's trophy case versus any other association in the school's trophy case, it nobody compared. Mm. Um, we won almost every competition we went to. Mm. But like I said, the band itself went popular. But yeah. the drum line was a different, was a different ball oh, game. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. what was interesting is that it's like the people that were on the drum line were not like your average band kids, right? You know, most of your band kids are like these artsy kids, yeah. some of them kind of a little weird. Mm -hmm. But like the people that I like marched with, like that was on the snare line with me, a couple of the quad players, they were like basketball players. Like it was like two or three of the guys that I marched snare with um, were on the basketball team. Yeah. Now, and I mean, they was like some some solid dudes, like was talking to some of the fine girls and they was uh, a year above me and I was cool with all them. So, mm -hmm. It's like they helped me because I was always, you know, talking with them, chopping it up with them. So it's like we we, we didn't play. We, and, to, and to, again, we were a predominantly black school, but you have in band, you have what's called a show band and a competition band, right? Mm -hmm. A show band is what's known as what you would see at an HBCU, right? Yeah. They play popular songs more focused on making an appearance versus like playing more articulate music or things of that nature. Which mm -hmm. not saying that HBCUs don't play play articulate music, but they play more popular music mm -hmm. and different style of marching as well. Most of them do high knee marching, which I ain't gonna get too far into that. But we weren't a show band. We're a competition band. So we didn't play many songs that people knew, right? So, I mean, it's like, I, I'll give you an example. It's like on Drumline, yeah. where that other band came in and they was playing all them songs and Dr. Lee was like, Flight of the Bumblebee. That's <laughs> that's the type of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and everybody was like, why are we playing Flight of the Bumblebee? They over there, you know, they over there jamming, we playing Flight of the Bumblebee, you yeah. know. You know, I had two white band directors. Yeah. But they, they were super cool. You know, I love them. I mean, to this day, they two of, two of the best people I know. You yeah. know, especially my my drum director. He was also one of the band directors. I mean, Mr. G was one of the coolest people. Little Italian dude. One one of I mean, one of the best people I've ever met, you know, had a huge impact in my life. Yeah. But again, because of that, that's why the band wasn't popular. But again, the drum line on in itself were a cool bunch of individuals. A lot of the band didn't like us. One, you look at the rest of the band, all the almost all the drum line was black. Yeah, oh, <laughs> the yeah. rest of the band was white for the most yeah. part. You had some, you had a lot of the black folks sprinkled throughout each section, but the drum line, yeah, was all black. You yeah. know, all of us was black on the drum line. Yeah, so yeah. It, it was it was definitely a difference. In the drum line versus the rest of the band, for sure. Yeah, well, they had to have some rhythm in there. Yeah, exactly, have, exactly. They had to have some rhythm, yeah, because that's, <laughs> I remember um, at Selma High, the band, same thing. It was like, um, I, mean, I can I can name off a couple of different names, but all those guys, like, and Gabby, Gabby was really big into the band. Like, I wasn't, I was one of those guys that when I first, I, I'll never forget, I got asked to be in the band when I was in middle school. And of course, the first thing you want to do is you want to, I, I, for sure, like, let me play the drums. You know, right. I, in fact, I was in the sixth grade going to the seventh grade and the band director came down and, they, and you know, he had conversations with basically everybody, that, you know, trying to recruit people to the band. 
And, you know, I I accept, not accepted, but I wanted to talk to him because I'm like, man, yeah, I want to play the drums. Like, that's what I want to do. Yeah, teach me how to play the drums. And next thing you know, he like, you got a, what did he say? I don't know if it was trumpet lips or you got, <laughs> or or something. He pulled out a clarinet. I don't know what he pulled out, but he pulled it out, opened it up, and was like, yeah, this will be you. But I looked at that instrument, I said, man, he tripping. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, bro. No. So, but it's crazy though, because how I viewed the band, because that was the majority of white school, so the band was a little different too. How right. I viewed the band then compared to when I went to Selma High, I still had that little bit of a mentality, but I'm looking at dudes, I'm like, oh, this dude cool, this dude cool. Like these, these like everybody that special, like you said, that was on the drum, I mean, they was get down, bro. Oh, yeah. I, that's when I got a little jelly, because I'm like, man, <laughs> if I just would have got in there. But in middle school, then I would have been, I would have been good right now. I'd have been right, good. Right. You no, know, so but but yeah, the band, you don't realize it like, and not to mention that's music. Music is is a is an art too, anyway. Like, so mm -hmm. if you can learn any type of instrument, just appreciate. So I know if I look back, I don't care if it was a clarinet or a trumpet. I would, man, I would if I could right now pull out a trumpet, clarinet, and just like do something to my, you know, like just sing or something, you know, play a little song for my wife. Man, come on, man. I'm, I'm about to kill it. <laughs> and see, you know, that's what's interesting is like, so my first instrument was not drums. Um, I've been I've been playing, I've been in the band since sixth grade. I played from six to twelve. Mm -hmm. And my first instrument, and I like you said, I came in, I was like, oh, I'm finna play the drums. That was like that was the thing because I grew up and my my family was heavy in the church, right? And so because of that, I always went to church, my dad and stuff. And of course, when I was little, I'm, I'm going in there afterwards. I'm sitting at the drum set. You know, my dad was a keyboard player. Yeah. So my dad played the keyboard. He also used to play the set sometimes. But dad was a keyboard player. All my uncles, they played guitar, bass mm. guitar. But so I wanted to play the set. Drums was always my passion from yeah. a little boy. Yep. And so when I got to sixth grade, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm coming in here. I'm going to play the drums. They had to sit down at each instrument and like do like a little test. And and they rated us on each instrument. And <laughs> the instrument I ended up playing was the oboe, right? Most people don't even know what an oboe is. That's what I was looking at. Oh, it looks like a clarinet. But it's a double reed instrument, very difficult to play. One of the most difficult instruments you can play. Mm -hmm. um, I played it for four years. Um, I, if I would have stayed with it, which I just didn't want to play it. That's really the only reason I stopped. Um, I I enjoyed playing it at the time I did. Mm -hmm. I could have got a scholarship to any school playing it because there's such a small amount of people that know how to play it. Yeah, And I mean, I could have got a scholarship with percussion as well, but with oboe, it really heightened my chances because there's just few people that play the oboe. Mm -hmm. And I was so sure that I was I was going to leave out playing drums, but the band director convinced me to play the oboe. And I think my mom was like, you sure that that's what you want to play? Because yeah. <laughs> it was like, I scored the highest on the oboe, the tuba, and I want to say in percussion were, were my three highest. Mm -hmm. And there was already so many people trying to do percussion. They were like, man, we really need an oboe player. Yeah. And it was me and one other guy. name was Jonathan. And he convinced me to play the oboe. And I, like I said, I played it for four years, went to all type of honor bands, um, Played in all types of different, you know, stuff. I got invited to play overseas when I was in the ninth grade. Um, was supposed to go on like this um, tour over in um, Europe. I actually ended up not going because it was just too expensive. Um, but at the time, you know, my mom was a single mom. I knew we weren't going to be able to do it. It, it would have been like, I think it would have cost like $5,000 or something. But I got invited to yep. play with... Um, a bunch of different people from around the U.S. Um, to go to, it was like, I think it was 
10 or 16 different countries in Europe. And mm -hmm. we we're supposed to go on like this whole little tour thing in Europe and play over there, but end up not doing it just because, like I said, it was just too expensive. Yeah, um, I actually remember you telling me about this. I remember you telling me about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. And so I never, never did it. But again, that's just the type of opportunities that playing the oboe afforded me, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. But again, that percussion was always where my heart was. And so when I got the opportunity to switch, oh yeah, I was, I was on it. Okay. You know? Oh, that was it. That was it. So, yeah. well, yeah. So, OK, 